So naming CFCs. Chlorofluorocarbons. This carbon chain is one, two, three, four, five, six carbons long. So this name is going to end in hexane. hexane. Now we can name from the left or we can name from the right. If we name from the left, we have one, four, five, and six are the carbons with substitute or substituents um, halogens on them. Now, if we name from the right side this way, our numbers will be one. Two, three, and six. So these are the carbons with substituent with um, halogens on them. So these are lower numbers. Even though they both have one, these numbers here are much higher. So we're going to use this. So we're naming from the right side. We're going to name them alphabetical. So we have a bromo there. We have a chloro, or two chloros. We also have an iodine, which is iodo. So bromo, chloro, and iodo. So we're dropping the INE off these halogens and we're putting in an O. Um, if there's more than one of them, such as in Chlorine, then will be dichloro. If there's only one, we leave it just like it is. We don't put mono or anything, just di for two. So what we want to do here is look at first the bromine. So we have one bromine and it's on carbon number. If I just put the numbers here. The bromine's on the third carbon, so we have three bromo. Is there any more bromines? No. So we go to the next alphabetical halogen group, and we've got chlorine on one, and we've got a chlorine on two. So it'll be one comma two dichloro and. We're now looking at the last group, which is our iodine, iodo, on carbon six. Six iodo, and we knew there were six carbons, so there was hexane is our final part. Okay, so count the carbon chains to get your idea of how long the carbon chain is. Be careful you haven't got a, a right turn on your carbon chain, just a trick here. Should be straight if it's a halo, if it's an alkane. Uh, halo alkane. This is a this one here is a bromo in there, but ended iodo, so we don't have any fluoros in there, so you'll see anyway. Um, six carbons. We've got these groups, these halogens, and one of them has two on different atoms. All right, so that's our name: one, uh, three bromo, one, two dichloro, six iodo hexane. Just something in addition to that. Here we've named a halo alkane. It has bromine and iodine in it. Strictly speaking, a chlorofluorocarbon is chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. Chlorofluorocarbon. The reason I've named a halo alkane with bromine, chlorine and iodine is there just to give you an idea of the different names of halo alkanes. Chlorofluorocarbons, you're going to have the same sort of technique of naming but you're going to have fluorine and
chlorine. Not not bromine and iodine in there. Just C L and F L. Sorry, C L F and C. Okay, thanks.